Welcome to the October 2018 Gaming PC Builds of the Month, brought to you by New Computer Build, where we bring you the best gaming PC builds every single month uh, at the respective budgets of fi under $1,500, under $1,000, and under $700. Uh, this month, uh, the builds have stayed relatively stagnant uh, compared to last month, but they're still really good, and the cost of these builds is the best they've ever been. Um, some of the reasons are is that overall hardware has gone down in, in cost, but probably most importantly is that uh, NVIDIA is coming out with some new graphics cards in the, their RTX line, so that might be dictating some of the graphics card prices, making them come down in price, um, as well with the anticipation of the new cards coming out, which is a really good thing. So let's get into the builds and I'll explain uh, as we go through. So let's start off with the high-end build, the $1,500, under $1,500 gaming PC build of the month. Uh, this build was $1,500, so it is $1,500, but it is, is actually, uh, sorry, it is called the best $1,500 gaming PC build, but it is well under $1,400 this month. Uh, like I said, as hardware prices have been going down overall, so this is the best value this build, uh, per, so cost per performance for this build, has been uh, for a very long time. So it's a very good purchase if you were uh, kind of eyeing a higher end build that can play into... 2K resolutions, 60 plus FPS, not a problem, and even into uh, 4K resolutions, uh, depending on the game. So let's get started with the processor, AMD Ryzen 7 2700X processor, uh, 299.99. That comes with uh, the Wraith Prism RGB cooler, uh, which is a good cooler, so I, I include that. But if you do want to really go crazy with your overclock, you could get a separate uh, liquid cooler or, or a better air cooler if you want. But this will do do the trick. Uh, to start off with or you know for the life of your CPU if you want to uh, the motherboard that we include is a really really good gigabyte x470 Aurorus ultra gaming uh, for 131.58 and then the graphics card we have is the GTX 1080 in this case the gigabyte GeForce GTX 1080 wind force uh, for 469 so the new Nvidia cards that are coming out um, are the RTX so the one that is out is the RTX uh, 2080 uh, but that'll be caught it's it's at around eight hundred dollars right now it's, but which means that there are people that are purchasing it but the gtx 1080 is 469 um which is uh much cheaper than it than it, than it has been but coming out here soon will be the gtx um uh 2070 sorry and that'll be um around i want to say around 700 bucks if, if i remember correctly so this is still a great deal and so i would you know definitely go for these if um there as, as long as they're around uh, because they'll be cost uh, cost effective uh, and good to purchase uh, so moving on we have uh, the RAM the HyperX Kingston Technology Fury uh, 16 gigabyte kit 2 8 gigabyte 6 for 154.99 the SSD we have is a crucial MX 500 500 gig one for $89 very good price so you can bump that up to a one terabyte no problem if you wanted the space uh, right away power supply we have is EVGA Supernova 750p2 highly efficient platinum rated um, uh, for $129.99, also fully modular, so the cables are very, very easy to manage. And the case we have again this month is the Corsair Carbide Spec uh, 06 RGB. Uh, this comes in uh, for $89.99, this comes in the kind of the white or the black, but they both look really, really cool. So overall, this build comes in at $1,380 as of October 2018. And should you have more to spend, uh, so if you were budgeting for $1,500, you could consider bumping up your SSD to a one terabyte, such as this Crucial MX500 for $159.99, or you know a better graphics card. So the Zotac GeForce GTX 1080 Ti uh, for $649.99, great price. Or a CPU cooler upgrade. Uh, like I said, if you're going to go crazy with that overclock, uh, $138.78 uh, for this Corsair Hydro Series H100i, and then uh, you could get a faster storage solution, such as this PCIe. SSD, um, this XPG uh, SX8200 uh, for four, right, 480 gigabyte version for $139.99, uh, which is a viable solution. But SSD works just fine as well. Moving on for the mid range build, this is the best under $1,000 build. Uh, this build utilizes the Intel Core i5 8400 for $204.99, and paired with that is the MSI. 8, uh, MSI uh, uh, Z370A Pro motherboard for 103.95, and then the graphics card we have for this one is the FXX Radeon RX 580 
for $249.99. Likewise, you could bump that up for a little more performance to a GTX 1070. If you have a little more to spend, I'll get to that in a second. Um, the RAM we have is an 8GB kit of Kingston HyperX Fury for $83.99, and the SSD is the Crucial MX500 500GB SSD, $89.99, same as the one that was in the uh, under $1,500 build above. Uh, power supply we have is the EVGA Supernova 650, the, so this one's a 650 watt P2, a highly uh, efficient power supply uh, for $109.99, and the case we have for this build is the Corsair Carbide 275R. Uh, mid tower for $79.99. And for this build, if you have more to spend, uh, some suggestions could be you want to bump up that CPU, you can get a better CPU with this uh, um, Intel 8600K for $250.91. But do keep in mind, if you do go with this one, um, you will need a, a cooler to go along with it, as it does not include one. So, one su suggestion could be the Hyper 212 Evo, it's uh, around $30. Bucks. Um, to pair with that as well so do keep that in mind a graphics card update upgrade update upgrade could be a gtx 1070 such as evga geforce G gtx 1070 for 379.99 uh, you could bump it up to 16 gigs of ram for uh, 154.99 using this kingston technology fury kit uh, or you can upgrade that cpu cooler to a liquid cooler um, with, uh, so such as this h80i corsair hydro series uh, 94.99 and now for the, the entry level build. This is the, the cheaper of the three builds. Uh, but this is the under $700 build. So this build is, I would suggest for anyone that just wants to game it, standard HD resolutions. That's 1920 by 1080 um, at around 60 frames per second, um, depending on the game. Uh, and, uh, you know, sometimes maxed out, sometimes scaled down a bit. But this is generally like, the all man's build, is what, what basically what I would call it. So the processor we have here is the AMD Ryzen 5 2600. This is an upgrade from the previous um, CPU that we had in this build, which was the 1600. Uh, this is for $165.99. Motherboard we have is the Gigabyte GA AV350 uh, gaming board for $89.99, so very affordable. The graphics card we have is a 3 gigabyte version of the DTX 1060, uh, that, such as EVGA GeForce uh, DTX 1060 for $209.99. We have 8 gigabyte kit of Kingston HyperX Fury RAM for $83.99. We have a 120 gigabyte Kingston Digital SSD here for $27.99. Super cheap, but I would suggest if you want a little more RAM, uh, for not much more, you can bump it up to uh, $256. Um, so do that if you do want the more room to start off with. Otherwise, 120 gigs is good for your OS and some games. Power supply is, of course, of course Air CX Series CX500. Wow, 500 watt. Uh, power supply for 58.66, and then the PC case we have with this build is a MasterBox 5 um, mid tower case for 56 dollars and four cents currently. And then, like I said, so this build does come out to 692.65, so under 700 dollars. But if you do have more to uh, spend on this build or want upgrade suggestions for the future, uh, you can go with the uh, CPU upgrade. This is AMD Ryzen 5 2600X for 209.99. Uh, motherboard upgrade. MSI uh, X470D Plus. Uh, this could give you a little more uh, overclock room and that kind of stuff, and has uh, some better features for 117 room, 117 dollars and 58 cents. Uh, graphics uh, card upgrade is the RX 588 gigabyte, uh, 249.99. Um, that could be a bump up in uh, your graphics power, so that that would be a, you know, if you were kind of wanting to put money somewhere, that would be a, uh, probably one of the better places to put it. And then the CPU, I would suggest. But if you want more space, like I said, you can go with a 250 gigabyte SSD at $55.99, such as this and Samsung 860 Evo. And like all gaming PCs, uh, they're not conclusive of everything you need, or inclusive, sorry. Um, you will need an operating system, so you could go with this. Uh, if you don't have Windows 10 or any Windows um, installs uh, on hand, you uh, here's a one for $119.99. Uh, that I also put these uh, other OS's here in case you just want a free version of something such as Ubuntu or Steam OS. And other things that you might want to consider are network cards, uh, as they don't—they're not included in any, any of the above builds. But uh, you could go with a PCIe uh, card or a USB version of a wireless solution, such as these two here. These are just examples, but just do keep that in mind when building your gaming PC build. Uh, that does it for the month, but if you want to check us out over at noobcomputerbuild.com, uh, come and uh, visit, leave a comment. Uh, otherwise, leave a comment on the, on the video, and I'll be sure to try and answer anyone's questions. And until next month, best of luck building.